guys, welcome back to my channel. What I have done for you today is my updated foundation routine because I was having lots of problems with my other foundation. Um, I'll explain a little bit more as the video goes on. But um, if you haven't read my blog post, I had a lot of skin issues going on with my face and a lot of it had to do with the foundation I was using and the soap I was using and just ugh, a lot of horribleness was happening to my face. So um, yeah, I had to fix a couple things which is why I put a new foundation routine up because now I think I've got it spot on. Hopefully my skin doesn't shit on me anymore. I'm just really glad I finally found something that works well for me. Hopefully it works for you if you have the same kind of skin issues I did or same problems or blah, blah, blah. The most important thing when it comes to skin issues that I have found out is that everything takes time and patience. I've literally been battling whatever has been going on to my face for about a good four months and it it has been a really rough ride, but I stuck with it and figured out what was going on. So now I'm really, really good and now I'm happy. Everything's good, so I'm happy. My skin's looking better and I'm happy. That's all I've really got to say, so let's just let's just do the damn thing. When I first did my foundation routine for you guys, um, I wasn't having a lot of issues with my skin. I've always had like dry, irritated, and super sensitive skin, but you know, it things change and my skin started getting like when I first started out with my foundation routine, I used Kat Von D's Lock It Tattoo Foundation and I loved it. I still love this foundation, it just doesn't work well with my skin. And in combination with the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation, I either used NYX HD Studio Photogenic blah, 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 Foundation and then the Mineral Foundation from um, Face Stockholm in the color Spralig and this one was, let's see, Soft Beige. So it was either a mixture of these two or a mixture of these two. What I have come to find out with this foundation is it is a full coverage foundation. It's, it's an awesome full coverage foundation, but with my skin, since it's so dry and sensitive and just bitchy in general, full coverage foundations do not work well with me. Um, I'm not gonna talk any kind of smack on this foundation because it's a lovely foundation and I would highly recommend it to people. If you have a lot of issues with your skin like I do, I probably wouldn't recommend a full coverage foundation because I think that it doesn't let your skin breathe. So that's the problem I had with this foundation. The foundation I use now is the Clinique Super Balanced Makeup. And it looks like this. Um, I'm in the color 28 Light N. I don't know what kind of coverage this is. I think it's like medium coverage. But what I found out with this foundation is that it's not like super full coverage. So it's buildable, in my opinion. It's buildable, but it's not like super, super thick like this foundation. It's really, it's pretty light. Um, it's acnegenic, so it's not supposed to clog your pores or do any of that nasty crap. It's supposed to absorb oil, where oil control is needed and moisturize where hydration is needed. It slips on the skin easily, it's oil free and you're supposed to shake it before using it. Because this absorbs oil, and you can see my face is like super shiny right now because I like throw lotion on my face and I just let my skin absorb it because I need so much moisture on my skin that I'm like, I stick my hand in like a bucket of lotion and just like rub it down my face. Because this foundation is supposed to absorb oil where it needs to, I have found that if I put it anywhere around my nose or mouth area, it starts to flake my skin. And that's because I have some kind of like facial dermatitis thing going on and I also have rosacea, I think, like a mild form of rosacea. What I do is I use this around my nose and mouth or this around my nose and mouth. So anyway, now that I've kind of talked about like why I've changed foundations, we'll actually like now get started putting it on my face. I had a really bad breakout right here. So if you have any kind of like redness or breakouts or like pimples or whatever you have, I like to use my Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette. And I take this green color right here 
and I just put a little bit of it on spots that are red. The green in it really reduces the redness. And then now I'm gonna go into my foundation and I think today I'm going to use my mineral foundation from Face Stockholm. And this is really cool because it has like a little spatula in it and I just put it right onto my beauty blender. Well, actually this isn't a beauty blender. It's an Emacs Design beauty sponge. I like these sponges a lot better than the beauty blender because they're way more dense and I just feel like they don't absorb as much product. I got three of these for $13 on Amazon instead of 20 for one sponge. I just take this foundation and put it all over my nose slash mouth area and I just go really, really lightly. I don't like to put anything on super heavy anymore because because of all my skin issues. I mean, if you like your foundation thicker around these areas, that's fine. I, this is just how I have to do it because of my skin. So now that I have that around my nose and mouth area, I work away from this area with my Clinique Super Balanced Foundation. And what I do is I just put this on the back of my hand and then dip my sponge right into that and then spread it all over my face. So I start with my forehead and I blend this out. And you can definitely tell where I put that green color. After I put my foundation over it, you can hardly see that I had any kind of acne or whatever I had going on. Um, I also don't use any kind of primer on my face because primer pisses my skin off too. I'm telling you, I have the worst skin, which is really weird because I get a lot of compliments on my skin. I'm flattered, like I love that I get compliments, but my skin is really, really mean to me. So yeah, when people give me compliments, I'm definitely like, you have no idea the shit my skin puts me through. I put foundation over my eyes too because I have like redness on my eyelids. They're discolored and especially under like my eyes because I have bags and it's just icky. And always don't forget to put it down your neck to make sure the color on your face matches your neck. So when I used to do my foundation after, you know, I did put my foundation all over my face, under my eyes and down my nose and my chin and you know, on my forehead, I used to put this LA Girl Pro Concealer on um, those areas. I don't do that anymore. I absolutely will never ever do that again. I will not put concealer under my eyes. I would put this on um, after I put my foundation on under my eyes and stuff. And I found that it became so super cakey and just, it looked disgusting. It would crease. I looked older. Mm, I looked like I was more wrinkly. I hated it. And I tried so many different ways to fix it. And what I kept doing was putting more things on. But what I, came, what I found out was the less I used, the better it looked. So now I don't even use concealer like at all, like that type of concealer. I just put my foundation on and then go in with my Cody Airspun and this is in translucent. It's a extra coverage powder. And then I just dip the corner of my beauty sponge into that powder and I just put it straight under my eyes. And that's how I set it for under my eyes. So now I just do foundation and powder right over it and it looks so much better. And then just with a fluffy brush, with a fluffy face brush, I go over the rest of my face. I will not go super heavy around my nose or mouth because I don't want to completely dry out my skin. So I'll go really light around those areas, just dust it on, literally just like this, and then go around, or go, you know, on the rest of my face with this um, brush a little bit more heavy. Now that I'm done with my foundation, I'm going to start highlighting and contouring my face. Um, the only palette I guess I've used for contouring is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I love this palette. This palette kicks so much ass. Um, and then I use my Vasanti blush brush. This is the only brush I have ever used for my contouring. I go in with this middle color right here and then this color. I kind of mix the two like this. I follow my cheekbone down. And then I just start blending it out. All right, and then to bronze up around my face, I use this color right here. I just take the same brush and I go around the edge 
of my forehead and blend it out. I don't use a lot of this color. And then I'm gonna take that same color and go on my jawline. I do not contour my nose. If you wish to and like to do it, I don't do it. After I do my contour, I go in with my blush. The main blushes I use is this Studio Makeup Blush and it's in the color Wildflower. Um, it's awesome. It has really nice pigmentation. A little goes a long way. I, you know, I, this is probably one of my go-tos. The newest blush I've been using is this My Couture blush paper and it's in the color Pretty Full. This has been, I was really creeped out by it when I first saw it and then I tried it and I absolutely loved it. I know you guys, if you saw my Wantable unboxing, you totally saw me pull this out and, you know, get kind of like weirded out slash excited by it. I've been using it and I really like it. So I wanna show you how it works. Um, basically it's a book of blush. And then what I do is I take one page out and just rip it straight from the book. And so this is a page, it kind of looks like oil blotting papers. And then what I do is rip this sheet in half like this and then tear it straight in half. Okay, and I tear it in half and then use one half for each cheek. If there's enough color in one piece of blush paper for each cheek. So I take this and I gently rub it onto my cheekbone. It will take some of your foundation off, not a whole lot. So this is what it looks like after I've used it. You can tell, I think, right around here is where I used it on my cheek. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. I'll place it gently on my cheek and lightly rub it on. And I know it looks like a super intense pink right now, which is why I take my fluffy brush and I blend that out. I just thought it was a totally interesting product and I was so excited to show you guys. So this is what it looks like after I'm done with it. You can tell there's a little bit of foundation that, you know, rubbed off, but I I don't think that's too big of a deal. It's not like I have like huge splotches on my face that are missing like giant patches of foundation. What I do with the leftover paper is just open my book back up and stick it right in and then use it for next time. After I do my blush, I do my highlight. My favorite highlighter in the whole wide world right now is the Becca Cosmetics Opal Pressed Powder. And it looks like this. It's super pretty. I use it all the time. This is the only highlighter I've ever used and I love this highlighter. So what I do is I take this fluffy brush that I've been using to set my foundation and my blush, or I've been using with my blush, and I just swirl it in my highlighter. So I just gently brush this onto my cheekbone and a little bit on my temple and I get a nice, beautiful highlight. I do use probably an excessive amount of highlighter and it's because I really, really love highlighter. I also take this down the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. I'll also even put it on my Cupid's bow. How I like to do it is I close my mouth like that and then I brush it all over my cupid's bow on my lips so and this isn't part of a foundation routine I do but I'm gonna just throw some mascara on because I want to um, the mascara I use is the benefit roller lash it looks like this well this is not the full size this is the tiny size because this is what I got for my birthday to try it out but I will be buying the full size because this is the shit. I love this stuff um, I use it all the time I don't know why I haven't used it sooner, but I'm glad I got it for my birthday. So this is the part of the video where I was telling you guys that I hope you stay safe and happy and all that good jazz, but my camera decided that it didn't want to record. So I'll say it to you now. Please stay safe and happy, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.